What did you say, ma'am? Nothing. Please, share. I said... Just because something looks ugly doesn't mean that it's morally wrong. You think dead children aren't morally wrong? No. I'm just saying that if you took up-close pictures of my vagina while I was on my period, it would be disturbing, but it doesn't make it wrong. Excuse me? Do what you want, do what you want, do what you want, do what you want. <laughs> that is probably he says it all the time. I know. I think it's the. No. I think it's my. I think it's the top song that randomly pops into my head. That's the top song on my brain playlist. I think. Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film, and today, Hello. hi. <laughs> today we're gonna be making sense of life through Lady Bird. <laughs> you forget. I did for a second. I also forgot. <laughs> Brief, you know, summary. Uh, Samari. Samari. Sorry. <laughs> I always mispronounce it. <laughs> Brief Samari. Well, you know that Samari. I'm just kidding. Right? I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> People are going to think we're more serious. Yeah, Brief, Brief Samari. It follows a girl named Christine, but she goes by Lady Bird. Her and her family live in Sacramento. It really just follows her through her last year, senior year in high school, as she's getting ready to hopefully go to college. You know, it goes through her struggles as a teenager, dealing with crushes and romance and friends, friends popularity. And popularity, and trying to discover yourself your identity things you like things yeah. that you're good at wanting things or thinking that other people's lives are better than yours yeah. imagining that there's a better life out there and you're yeah. not living it the movie focuses a lot on the relationship between her and her mom mm -hmm. Marion. yeah i think that's the, the main yeah the thing about ladybird i feel like a lot of teenagers will be able to relate to her everything when you were a teenager you felt like everything that ever happened to you mm -hmm. mattered to the highest degree mm -hmm. and everything was all about you and you wouldn't even thinking about it in a selfish way you didn't have like the, these delusions of grandeur mm -hmm. about yourself because i think you don't have enough different experiences and, and learned enough about different kinds of people that you do feel like am i the only one that's that wants more out of life or you know not realizing that a lot of people are actually like their her parents say she probably sees them and it's like oh they seem so boring now or something not realizing that they got to that point they were like her too at one point you know or but you just kind of have these gaps in your understanding of things it makes you feel I don't know, so exasperated all the time. When you're a teenager, right? You like you don't have a lot of world experience, right? Mm -hmm. You are still forming the world view. It's hard for you to even yeah. actually understand what is going on with you internally. Yeah. It is just this yeah. complete mess. Sometimes yeah. it just feels like an, a complete yeah. mess. Ladybird, right? Like yeah. as she's doing all of these things, it yeah. just looks like she's just, you know, just yeah. killing everybody in her <laughs> like yeah. in her path. A feather in the wind just going all <laughs> Yeah. Because, you know, she's dating Danny, who she thinks is cute and, and really into theater, and she likes that, but then finds out he's gay, so yeah. she's hurt. And so, okay, well, the theater people kind of hurt me, so now I want to be with, like, the, the cool, aloof yeah. kids, because that's kind of, you, like, well, maybe that's where I fit. Yeah. And then she finds, oh, this is really hard, because to stay cool all the time, and the part where... You know, she's kind of faking it okay. Like, the one girl's kind of like, okay, I guess you're all right, you know? You're kind of helping me out with something. And then the guy, Kyle's also kind of like, I guess you're cool, you know? But then when they're waiting for her to pick her up to drive to the prom, then they end up, you know, deciding not to. They're talking before she gets in the car, like, she's kind of weird, right? Yeah, yeah, she's kind of weird. So, you know, she she's not even really able to fake it with them. I don't think she's weird. She is weird. That's just not who she is. And then she realizes, like, I'm just this not, not one of these tribe. people. Yeah. yeah. But you kind of have to try, try that a little bit to kind of really see, okay, Julie, the person that we can just snack on stuff and just yeah. say the silliest things with each other and be really, you know, close in that way. I appreciate that. And I like Lady Bird for the fact that she's hustling. You know, mm -hmm. there are people who just kind of like accept and sit back, yeah. but she's hustling. She's failing every single time. Yeah. She's always hopeful. Maybe this is going to work yeah. out. The way I decided to take notes for this movie is very very minimalistic. I just wrote lines. I love you, or I love you, but do you like me? And then her mom like, is like, of course I love you. Of course I love you. Like, yeah, but do you like me? And yeah. I like that because normally you hear the distinction, the wanting to make a distinction the other way around, where people would be like, yeah, of course I like you. And they're like, but do you love me? Like yeah. say that someone's interested in wanting to be romantic and then they, they emphasize, no, but are, do you love me? It's different. Yeah. In this case, it's kind of the other way around. She's like, yeah, of course you love me because your daughter or whatever, you, you love your kids unconditionally or whatever, but it's like, it's different because you can love your kids. It doesn't mean you get along with them. And, exactly. And, and not the same person. And then, yeah, so do I you liked, like me? I thought I liked that. I thought yeah. that was something that, that a lot of people, families deal with, especially because there is that unconditional love thing that's just attached to it. But that doesn't mean that you even 
really have much in common when you exactly. all develop into your own person. Exactly. Lady Bird's with her mom, and mm-hmm. she's there shopping for a prom dress. And, you know, like, they're going through things, and then uh, at one point she puts on one Lady Bird, and she likes it. And then her mom's like, oh, I think it's a bit pink. Yeah. <laughs> right? And then, and you know, and, and you can get a sense from their relationship that this happens a lot, and her mom is always finding little things to knock her down, why they, they always are get into fights. And, but it's so they're so used to this dynamic that they can be in thrift stores looking for stuff, and they'll start yelling at each other, and then they'll be like, oh, but this is cute. Like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like right from the outside, you'd be like, you guys okay? But for them, it's normal. Which, in a way, is good. I think that they kind of clearly know that their person, the other person's upset, but at the same time, they kind of keep repeating it, too. And, you know, her mom's like, do you want me to lie? Yeah. And she's like, but it would be just nice to hear you kind of, like, say something nice without that need to also undermine the thing you said, the compliment, the backhanded compliment or something, you know? The whole time, every single thing that she wants, her mom wants exactly the opposite, mm-hmm. you know? She wants to move to New York, mm-hmm. and the mom's like, why don't you just stick around here? It's always cutting her down, mm-hmm. it seems like. Yeah. It, oh, she's always, it always, it seems like she's always cutting her down in so many ways yeah. at every None st- of her ideas ever just get a thumbs up from her mom. Exactly. Yeah. It's justifiable, I think, yeah. for her to ask, do you like me, parent? Yeah. Because the way you seem to have been treating me my whole life Yeah, it doesn't seem doesn't like seem that. doesn't seem to yeah. reinforce and that. Exactly. Clearly they care about each other, and then when Lady, ba- Lady Bird is, <laughs> Lady Bad, <laughs> when Lady Bird is having a bad day. The mom is like, do you want to do that thing that we do on the weekends yeah. right now? Yeah. And they go like house shopping, yeah. um, showing, yeah. even though Just obviously they're not going to buy the stuff they, yeah. Yeah. Which is interesting that they both kind of have this thing. So it's one of those where Lady Bird probably feels like, I don't even, I'm so different from my mom. But they both have that kind of feeling of wishing maybe that their situation would be a little different. Like her mom was saying at one point, she's like, you know, we were hoping to move at some point. This wasn't going to be the place we'd stay at for 25 yeah. years. So it's not like that we're totally okay with our situation. No, it's like we had other aspirations as well, you know? Exactly. We didn't think we'd be in this house for 25 years. We thought we would have moved someplace better. Whatever we give you, it's never enough. It's never it enough. It is enough. Do you have any idea what it costs to raise you and how much you're just throwing away every Every day. The relationship is really complicated. They care about each other, but they fight all the time and they hurt each other a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's another thing. When people who love each other are so good at hurting mm-hmm. each other, they know exactly which buttons to push. Yeah. Like when Marion finds out that Lady Bird has applied to New York, gives her the silent treatment yeah. and Lady Bird is desperate. Yeah. Marion knows that this is how I just yeah. like twist the knife. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's just like, please begging her. You yeah. know what I mean? Please, mom. Please. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm ungrateful and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I wanted more. Just please talk to me. I know I'm, I'm so bad. I know I am. But please just talk to me, Mom. Mom, please talk to me. Is Marion a good mom, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you, you question those kinds of things yeah. versus the other times when you can see that this person is working like crazy. Her husband yeah. is not, isn't, you know, is out of work. She's trying to give Lady Bird all she can, you yeah. know, all that she needs to be able to, yeah. to be okay, right? Yeah. And so in those ways, you can see the sacrifices that Marion makes mm-hmm. and those things attest to love. And yeah. you know what I mean? That's the stuff that makes this relationship so complicated and I think so true to what happens in life. Lady Bird, on the other hand, is completely yeah. disgruntled yeah. By her humble yeah. household that she comes from versus the rich kids that she goes to school with. A lot of the times as parents, it's so hard to say, honey, yeah. I'm broke. Yeah, I mean, money just always complicates relationships because, you know, one point her mother says something where she's like, well, we, do you know how much it costs to raise a kid? Yeah. Which obviously can kind of then feel like, well, you know, there's other things involved than just paying for stuff. You also need to be a supportive parent and emotionally there for your kid. Like, the, you know, just having a roof over your head is not doing everything you can that you need to as a parent. Exactly. But when you are the one now keeping the family afloat and you're working double shifts and all this stuff, then understandably that is still an important component to her feeling like maybe resentful, like Lady Bird feeling kind of spoiled or out of touch when it's like, do you know what I'm going through, you know? That's one of the things that happens with Lady Bird as she starts to see other people's lives and experiences mm-hmm. outside of her own is, you know, we see that she didn't know that her dad was mm-hmm. living with depression, yeah. you know? Is dad depressed? Why do you ask that? The pills, they have Dad's name on them. Dad's been struggling with depression for years. I didn't know that. 
Yeah. All of these people have their own separate lives yeah. and their major things happening in their lives, right? Because a lot of the times, especially with parents, you kind of forget that they are human beings, mm -hmm. you know? Because obviously, like, as a kid, there is that kind of, like, necessary narcissism, yeah. I think, you know, yeah. where it's all me, 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 mm -hmm. right? But, like, obviously, as, as you grow up, yeah. that's where you then start to care for other people yeah. just as they, as yeah. they care for you, yeah. be understanding. And, you know, her ending high school, you're becoming an adult at the end of the day. Like, yeah. it's, this is these are the beginnings of yeah adulthood and part of that is realizing that now your parent you have to start to see your parents differently like as actual human beings mm -hmm. when the mom talks about what well, we also had dreams we also wanted to have a bigger place mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's just those little things i think help her be take herself out of her own ego exactly when um she goes into ladybird's room and then she's complaining about how messy it is why don't you just put things away mm -hmm. and then ladybird is like weren't you a teenager yeah didn't you didn't you also struggle like did you put your things away immediately mm -hmm. when you're mom gave you grief did you like that did you remember how horrible it was you know and then her, and the mom is like well my mom was an alcoholic and she just leaves right yeah. so obviously there's probably a history of challenges on the mom's end that is another window yeah. to your parent as a child yeah. realizing that you know my mom isn't just a mom mm -hmm. you know yeah. she is marion her name is marion mm -hmm. she used to be a kid like me yeah and it sucked, just like my life sucks right now. Another line I really liked was when, after she hooked up with Kyle, she's struggling with stuff and sharing it with him, and he's kind of like, well, I mean, put things in perspective. Kind of saying, like, first world problems now. You know there's, like, a war going on right now, so, yeah. like, your problems aren't exactly the same thing. And she's like, yeah, but not everything is war, and you can still be sad about other things. Yeah. I like that, because it's kind of like where you kind of go in a, a 180, 360 with stuff, where at first when you discover the idea of, like, hey, remember, keep things in perspective other people have it harder you're like okay because that is an important thing to remember is like there's always someone that is struggling with something more than you so don't treat it like the end of the world what you're going through however that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have to deal with stuff or be allowed to deal with the stuff that you're going through because it's exactly. still real and important as well and it hurts yeah when he says that where he's like well you know there are people going through war or whatever you find out that oh his dad has cancer and so to him you know in that space which i really liked in this movie as much as there isn't a lot that we see when it comes to other characters in terms of backstory there are little things that give you an idea of w why it is that yep. they would be saying that kind of stuff yep. the dad is on the brink of mm -hmm. passing because yep. of cancer you yep. know what I mean so this guy is dealing with huge things mm -hmm. you know as a teenager yep. your priorities shift mm -hmm. you know what I mean things that used to matter like which girl am I going to take to prom don't really matter mm -hmm. when your dad has cancer it's a huge deal yeah. for someone who isn't dealing with death. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. so that's also fair. Mm -hmm. But these two people, they're, again, they're still teenagers yeah. and they don't understand yeah. that that's, that's... they can give each other their issues, yeah. their experiences, the same yeah. Um, respect yeah. you know what I mean and it's and also okay. and it's learning that people are in different situations and not everyone's going to be caring about one thing or another realizing as you try and engage with people more and have those experiences you realize oh the thing that I am the most focused on right now is not everyone's pr main priority yeah. And there are a lot of reasons for that. It might be something else on their mind or something else that they're just more interested in. I, I like her relationship with Danny too. It's just, it was one of the things where, you know, before that we were seeing Lady Bird just being like, me, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And then Danny is discovered to be gay, right? And in Danny's mind, he's mm -hmm. the profligate <laughs> child he starts crying because yeah. he comes from a catholic home if the mm -hmm. family finds out he's going to be disowned right mm -hmm. and so that's that's pretty much yeah, it's a big deal. yeah like that's a huge deal yeah. right and so understandably he's crying and he's just kind of like please don't i know i hurt you but please don't tell anyone and ladybird completely forgets about her mm -hmm. her and just kind of you know holds him and yeah. says i'm i don't worry i'm not going to say anything mm -hmm. so that's that was the beginning right like of us seeing like yeah, yeah. no she's not a bad girl mm -hmm. you know she's just a teenager another line that i liked is when she She's with the nun principal. I don't know mm -hmm. if she's like the principal of the school, but she's also a nun. She's, she's talking about like the stuff that you wrote, wasn't it like essays or something? Yeah, she, it was, I think it was her college essay. College like essay. They were reviewing and right. She's, right, yeah, she was she, writing about Sacramento. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize you clearly love your town. Yeah. She's like, no, I don't like Sacramento. What do you mean? And she's like, well, the, the amount of detail and everything and attention you put into your descriptions and everything. She's like, oh, I just, I guess I pay attention. I don't know. Is that, that kind of the same thing? Love and attention? Like yeah. to pay attention to something that much, you know, you must have some kind of connection and uh, like that because it is a great way to frame that and there's some wisdom there from the nun because she also talks about where she's like I wasn't offended by the guy the prank that you pulled like <laughs> as far as the nun funny. yeah she, that was funny she's got a sense of humor it wasn't me I'm not going to punish you oh why not <laughs> it was funny 
sister Gina and I drove all the way home before we noticed people were honking. Really? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I wasn't just married to Jesus. It's been 40 years. Well, he's a lucky guy. <laughs> She's yeah, yeah. a goof drop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's yeah. Like a yeah, she's a goof drop. Goof drop. Yeah. When, it, when it comes to people, especially family, I think, you want them to really be attentive to you as a person. You want to feel understood mm -hmm. by them. When you're sad, you want them to see you're sad. And when, yeah. you're, when you have needs and dreams, you want them to understand your needs and your dreams and not fight you on them without even explaining, mm -hmm. you know? You want them to not make you feel like you're making poor choices or yeah. you're not good enough. Yeah, I'm sorry that I wanted more. Oh, yeah. You know, it's I that like that. feeling feeling bad for wanting a better situation or wanting to follow your dreams. But it's this like guilt, but also this kind of feeling like you're disappointing other people because you want change or improvement or to get out of the situation. Yeah, that was a really hard thing. I'm getting emotional. Oh no. <laughs> I think it's so hard for Marion. She wanted to give Lady Bird more. And she also wanted more for her life, mm -hmm. as we find out. And every time when Lady Bird says, I want to go live in the woods. I want better. I want to go to New York. This place sucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like shots, 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 shots. Everybody! All the time. Like, you're a bad parent. Yeah. And you didn't do good enough. And on top of, you know, how Lady Bird never wants her dad to drop her off at the school. She's like, no, walk. Both yeah. of them know. Like, you, you, you are ashamed of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's always just saying they live on the wrong side of the tracks. And that's the thing yeah. I think Lady Bird doesn't realize is, yeah, her mom does take digs at her a lot. But a lot of times, Lady Bird's doing the same thing to her mom and isn't realizing it. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So that's what kind of triggers her mom. And then maybe that's what makes her mom want to make those snide comments back. Yeah. I feel so heartbroken for Marion. I'm also heartbroken for Lady Bird because your dreams are your dreams and you should never apologize. I'm sympathetic to both of them mm -hmm. and to their pain because, of course, the shots coming from Lady Bird, they hurt Marion to the extent that she's then passive aggressive yeah. towards Lady Bird. Lady Bird has no idea why. Yeah. When Lady Bird is interpreting that, she's yeah. interpreting that as Thanks. you don't like me yeah. and you think I, I I'm just like this, you know, spoiled, the disappointment. The spoiled brat. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? During the argument about money, Lady Bird is like, yeah, just tell me, give me a, a, yeah. a number. How much did it cost? I'll pay you yeah. back. The hurt that Marion inflicts on Lady Bird is where then Lady Bird is like, you know, I'm sorry I wanted more. Yeah. You know, clearly the things that I want are hurting you. I'm yeah. sorry I wanted more, yeah. but that's what I want. You'll never be able to predict what your, what dreams you're your kids, kids will have. Will have. So exactly. you kind of have to be able to go with it and you help them where you can and ask where you can help. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of fighting and yeah. feeling like a failure all the time. Yeah. You know, she has this idea that the place she's at and all the people there are not good enough for what she wants her life to be. Finally gets to New York. And then, not that I, I don't think it's necessarily like she wants to move back, like she regrets it, but she's also learning experiences there and that it's not all necessarily as much of a utopian dream that she thought it would be. <laughs> and she was also getting annoyed at all the people that seemed uh, lacking like spirituality. Hey. Hey. Do you believe in God? Uh, no. Why not? <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. People call each other by names that their parents made up for them, but they won't believe in God. And this is where people are complicated. It's like she doesn't like the all-girls Catholic school, which she felt is probably oppressive and, you know, had issues. And, but she also still had her faith in her own way, right? Yeah. And so at one point she visits a church in New York just to kind of get that sense back. Yeah. That she felt like she was struggling to meet people that had that or that it's still a part of her and a part of home that is so important to her. I felt like that ending would consolidate everything, you know, beautifully. Her finally getting to New York and realizing that this guy, he meets, she meets a guy at a party and yeah. it's kind of like the Kyle of Sac yeah. Sacramento. Yeah. The whole time she felt like New York, New York, that's where everybody culture is. Yeah. And it's like, no, culture is not in a yeah. place. Yeah. Culture is where people with culture yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are. Yeah. You know what I mean? That yeah. could be in Sacramento too. Yeah. People that you connect with, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're not in a specific place, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's, that's about it. Some things that we pondered yeah. from Lady Bird. If you watched it, yeah. please let us know what you thought of it. Share your thoughts on our thoughts. Yeah, we'd love to hear your take yeah. on yeah. the movie. Absolutely. Until next time, though, eh? Bye. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap.